Hi, I'm Wally from EnergyWeb, and behind me with this beautiful sunset, um, we are in Shishanguvi, and um, yet another successful biogas project for a school. Um, this is a kindergarten, a government kindergarten, and they've decided to build the biogas digester as another sustainable energy source um, in the food preparation for the school feeding scheme. Um, the biogas digester just um, on the right hand side is our kitchen. Um, so we've built it again close to the kitchen unit. And you can see we've actually brought in a feeding line directly from the kitchen. So the ki kitchen um, food waste can be deposited directly into the biogas system via piping um, solution so that the staff don't have to walk around fences um, to, to feed the biogas unit. Um, the biogas unit uh, inlet, um, although the system is, is, is level, the inlet side is 1.5 meters deep and the outlet side is 1.7 meters deep. So that we've got a 200 millimeter fall over the length of the biogas bag so that you've got a natural sort of progression of the solids through the biogas system. Um, this system's overflow on the output side is not connected to a sewage line or a French drain. So what we've done with this unit is we're incorporating an overflow tank and the overflow will go into the overflow tank and that will then be taken out into the vegetable garden as a rich organic natural fertilizer for the food garden. So it's that closed loop of waste to energy for cooking and then the byproduct, the digestate out of the, the biogas unit, that can then be reintroduced back again into the food gardens. Um, this system is still being commissioned. Uh, tomorrow we'll be installing the biogas bag and the overflow tank. At the moment, we've now primed the, the system. The, the inside of the trench has been shaped and then been prepared for the biogas bag. So all that's left now is the gas line. What we've done with the gas line is we've built in this framework um, for the gas pipe. Now this also runs at a downward slope and then will be connected into the bag on this side. And the main reason for that is any um, moisture that builds up in the gas line um, condensate then runs naturally down the, the slope of the gas pipe and automatically flows back into our biogas bag. And we've just found in the past that if you want to try and do the gas lines underground, as soon as there's a slight bit of a low point and a buildup of the condensate or water, it actually blocks the flow of gas. And that's why we're going for a, a, a larger pipe system, um, but we take it straight up from the biogas bag and then at an upward angle towards the point of usage. And then in front of the kitchen, we'll introduce our gas overpressure protection system, um, the drain valves, um, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure that if there's any further condensate in the lines, we can then drain it out. So what we've done now is the, the, the trench is built. We've prepared our pit. Um, all that's now left is the installation of the biogas bag. Um, and then the connection of the overflow tank and we're also going to be installing a macerator in the kitchen so that we make sure that we get a nice fine slurry mix of organic waste flowing into the biogas digester which then just speeds up the gas production and it also ensures that there's no blockages. Important point to mention as well is because this is an open system um, on our, our left hand side is a primary school. We will be closing the, the, the system off with a lid, um, a grid system, so that there's no risk of kids possibly coming and falling into the pits or jumping on the bag thinking that it's a, 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 place, a play space um, or possibly getting hurt. So that's also extremely important is um, ensuring safety when you're installing the biogas systems. Um, so next video we'll be showing you the installation of the bag and the overflow system.